Hey, hey, friends. What day is it? Shoot, it's Wednesday. I'm good. I took a day off yesterday. So as if I don't have enough trouble keeping track of what day it is, um, I went ahead and jacked up my own schedule. <clears throat> I don't know why it matters. It's just like I get on here and instantly need to tell you happy fill in the blank day instead of just happy day. Like, happy evening. Glad you're here. Like, the most basic level. Anyway, um, I actually don't have a whole lot of time tonight because we are already my, my, don't tell the others, my favorite Pibble. Don't tell the others. Um, <laughs> we have an appointment to go get, um, I have someone else test him for his supplements and his baseline health and everything. Um, while that's something that I could do, I feel too attached, too biased. So um, we actually have an appointment to get that testing done today so we can get new supplements so we can continue on with his wonderful healing journey, which is a long one. And I've written a blog on it, just in case you're wondering, marketparsons.com. You can check it out. He's got allergy problems. But anyway, um, so today I want to talk about the two biggest um, reasons, the top two reasons, however you want to word that, that your horse has behavior problems. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> it's you. <laughs> I know everyone wants to hear that, right? Um, but no, really, <clears throat> if uh, you struggle with a horse that has behavior issues, you probably get frustrated with their behavior issues. And yeah, it's, it's a you thing. Um, so you have to learn to compartmentalize to some degree, but also it really comes down to just healing yourself because this really magical thing happens when you deal with your own inner bullshit, when you decide to pursue a life of truth, a life of peace, when you decide to pursue that, the most amazing thing happens and that is that all of a sudden, you can see the pain, the struggle, the root cause of someone else's behavior, including your horse. So for me, going through and healing myself and dealing with my own anger issues has led me to a place where um, I recognize, like I hear people tell stories all the time. It's crazy. It's I don't even... They're like, oh, I picked up this horse from the kill pen, you know, six months ago, and I thought we'd be farther along by now, but I still can't get on them, and they still come after me, or they still bite me, or they still have an attitude. Dude, they were in a kill pen six months ago. Ugh. <laughs> but it's that, like, because I've healed my own trauma, because I know what it feels like, because I can acknowledge what it feels like to be in a traumatic situation and to come out of it and to heal that pain and fear and um, abandonment and resentment and build trust again, I can see where it's lacking in horses, in dogs, in people in some cases. Um, I, I'm just more aware of it because I've gotten very intimate with it through my own healing journey. So that's number one is uh, if you struggle with a horse that has behavior problems, you are the problem and you have to heal yourself. If you need help with that, I am here for you. Um, I am an emotion code practitioner. So I really, I help people process old emotions and get rid of them permanently. And also I've walked the journey, man. So I have a lot of tips that I can help speed your, your journey up. If you're interested in that, jump into my Facebook group, um, Heart Centered and Intentional Horsewomen. The link is in my bio always and forever. Uh, anyways, Reason number two, <clears throat> reason number two that you're dealing with a horse with behavioral problems, uh, they're in pain and chances are that you don't recognize their pain, which it, you know what, like, let's just be honest and back this bus up. I've been in the horse world for a long time, but it wasn't until I took a deep dive into anatomy and biomechanics and learned massage that I realized that a lot of the things that we do, very common practice things cause pain. They cause pain and they ignore the problem. So instead of, you know, oh, my horse just needs to learn to keep his head down. And in order to keep his head down for now, I'm going to put a tie down on him to teach him that he's got to keep his head down. Mm, 
Yeah. Okay. That tie down that you're using to try and help you solve the problem is actually only making it worse because they will brace against it. They will, what will happen is, is when they brace their, their neck against that, um, this is just one example, by the way, <laughs> when they brace against the tie down, it actually causes them to arch their back instead of rounding it and it gets their hind end to trail out behind them so you're never going to get that collection that you need they're never going to engage properly and that whole contorted way that they're going is causing more pain what we need to do is address why your horse is throwing its head up which is a pain issue it's probably related to saddle fit it could be a variety of things anyways that's the reason number two is pain and most people are like oh we've had the vet come out and um they can't find anything okay let me tell you as a massage therapist who works on high dollar athletes that go to the best vets in the world, vets don't do the same pain tests that I do. I do a more thorough examination for pain. Vets do a lot of flexion tests and those are great and they have their place, but there, it's, there are other ways to examine and judge a horse's pain and discomfort levels. So um, even if you think you've ruled out pain, Mm. Oh, P.S. By the way, this is a great time to bring up. I was going to say, like, find a massage therapist, call me. But I know not everybody's local to me. So um, something I just can't believe this slipped my mind. But something that I've recently created is a, an opportunity for people that aren't near me to still work with me with their horse. So I can still help you identify where pain is coming from, point you in the right direction, connect you with the right professionals and that kind of thing. So if that's something that interests you, if that's something you need. Um, I'm actually, I'll go back and I'll add that link too. So you can check that out, um, to the description of these videos and in my bio, because I know on you on here, Instagrammy friends, um, you won't see anything in the description. So anyway, so that's it. That's my spiel. I don't know what time it is, but I feel like we're probably running late now. Um, so yeah, two things. The biggest reasons you're probably dealing with behavior problems, one, you need to heal yourself, and two, your horse is probably dealing with some unidentified pain. So that's it. You all have a fabulous evening, and I will catch you later.